I'm overhauling a couple of Garrett T3 turbos here in my shop and I've got these apart and I thought it would be a good opportunity to share with you a couple of inspection tips. This isn't an overhaul video. It's rather than, uh, you know, what should you be looking for when you take your turbocharger apart? But first off, I want to encourage you that if you own one of these older Mercedes diesels that have a turbocharger on the engine, that this is something you can do yourself. It is not rocket science. And you would be amazed. Some of the cars, the performance difference on some of the cars I've had that have had their turbos uh, rebuilt is just amazing. And you'd, you'd be amazed at what you'd see in some of these turbos to know why you're gradually losing performance over time. And a lot of times the owner doesn't even realize it because he's lived with the car for so long and it's just that gradual decline in power, that gradual decline in acceleration to the point where he says, well, you know, I didn't know until I got it rebuilt. Wow, it's like driving a new Mercedes diesel again. Literally having a turbo diesel that'll kick you back in the seat, a lot of that depends on the performance of the turbocharger. So when you get this apart, one of the things, I believe this is one of the biggest mistakes that, that people make when they overhaul these, is they try to reuse a worn out turbine shaft and compressor wheel. Uh, you know, sure, that, that costs money and you think, well, yeah, that's good enough and I'll just, as long as I have new seals and new bushings and everything else in the turbo, I'll just reuse my, my turbine wheel and shaft and my compressor wheel. And the biggest problem is this, this groove back here in the ceiling ring, that wears with age and if it's too big a gap, you're going to be pumping oil out into your exhaust. So, you know, don't be skimpy. If you, if you take this apart and you see scoring on the shaft, or you see excessive wear in that rear ceiling ring groove, or if you see any damage uh, to these veins, particularly on the compressor wheel because it's aluminum, if you see, you know, wear marks or chips or nicks in this, these parts should be replaced for top performance. The other thing is the excessive wear in this front plate where the front ceiling ring seats in this, it's part of the compressor housing, the back plate of the compressor housing, and if this is excessively worn, you're going to have problems with performance in the turbo too. So uh, unfortunately these parts are very difficult to get sometimes, but you want to pay particular attention to that. And then I have seen these center sections wear out internally and that can create some noise you know people will put these turbos back together with excessive bushing play in here and you'll find out you'll have this high speed whine when that turbocharger kicks in so i hope the, i hope you find those tap tips uh, helpful you know if you're even considering this we have all the resources on my website available including a large pictorial manual that'll take you step by step picture by picture through the process of taking the turbo charger off your engine and taking it completely apart and installing our rebuild kit which includes you know all the parts that you see here so if you have an old turbo diesel mercedes and you have not done anything with that turbocharger, I highly recommend you take it off and completely overhaul it.